both starts from 2p. 1p is product, giving them the similar sheets of sheet paper and making them to write. That is known as product. And in process, generally you have to discuss with your teachers. You have to get some idea regarding that essay topic and you have to rewrite it again. Whatever the main idea, word you get in, you have to power down, you have to write, you have to outline it and then Third step, you have to rewrite, and the fourth one, is you have to finalize it. In this way, when you write any sorts of articles, any writing activities in the context or in my experience, I have been using that sorts of activities. That is known as process and product. So, do I have to share more? Yes. Is it? Yes. Okay, let me. Okay, please. If you make me host, I will try to share you regarding one slide also. Can I? Can you make me make me host? Yes. Please. Okay. Okay, so that I can share. I have one, especially one slide for your lovely students here. Okay, let me. Uh, T. New folder, Indonesia outline. Okay, now please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank so you. let me share. I have some um, photos for your students. How we can see uh, that one topic? Okay, let me share with you. Let me open it, please. Have patience. Yeah, especially these are the activities that I uh, presented in one international conference regarding how to write an essay. So uh, I have made one a slide for all the students here. Uh, Tershon, okay, please, just a moment. Okay, now. Can I share, please, brother? Can I share you? Respected sir, can I share? Oh, yes. yes. Okay, just a moment. Let me share with you all. Can I able to see from this side? I may be the host of the So is my screen visible? No, I don't think so. Just a moment, please. Have patience. I'm sure that my screen will be visible to all the lovely students, all the good students. Now, can you see it? Not yet. Isn't it visible? Uh, it is still coming through. We can only okay. see okay. the content. Can, can you see the one picture? You can see the picture that you've just clicked on your screen. Okay, please, just, just a moment. Yeah, just I, I was hearing the same thing, please. So now this is the picture, for instance. I was teaching uh, one essay, how to write essay to my student. Can you see my students writing something? Can you see? Yes. Yes. So I'm sharing the same things, the, my own experience. I'm not making you, I'm not sharing some PowerPoint or slide. I'm sharing the, my own experience here. These are my students. So now how I'm teaching them how to write essay. So let me share with you all. At first, for example, what I do is that to make them to write essay. Now you can see here uh, how I teach my students. Look at here. You can see here. I provide, for example, if I want to make my students write essay, what I do, I provide them the pictures and I ask the students to note down what activities are mostly done. So I provide them pictures. Look, you can see here, this is the festival of our Nepal. And if I want to make my student write an essay on the similar topic, what I do is that I provide these sorts of picture. So you can see here boss, you can see here many people, you can see here the card, greeting card, you can see here, do you know what is it? We cannot see this. Can you see? I'm extremely sorry, maybe due to the... Now, is it visible? Picture, can you see the picture? Yes. 
Okay, okay, please. Remind me, respected Moku one, please remind me. So look at here. This is the greatest festival of Nepalese people. So if I want to meet my students how to write essay, what I do is that I provide them picture. So you can see the bosses, you can see the uh, swing. Are you familiar with swing? Do you play swing? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yeah, in our country also we play swing and people, the senior, our father and mother, they put tikka to us in our forehead. So in this way we provide, we celebrate the festival. Now what I do is that when we want to write essay, generally I give them these sorts of ideas and my students will explain the picture and they will write essay. This is known as this is known as the process writing. And next one is, you can also see here, what I do is that, what I do here is that, I provide one piece of, can you see here? Look, I provide one piece of example to my students. I provide one piece of paper to my students. And what they do is that, they just copy the similar one. And in that way, what my strength do is that at last, what my strength will do is that, look at here, at last my students are able to write this essay. This is known as my strength writing. This is how our strength write. This is known as essay. Now, can you hear me? What I mean to say is that at first, when you want to write something, you have to think for it. Just think few minutes on that topic and whatever the idea you get regarding that topic, write in a piece of paper, write in a piece of paper and just write randomly whatever the words come in your mind when you see that particular word. When you see that particular word, just write in a piece of paper and later on you can paraphrase it. In that way, you can write essay. So in that way, I have been teaching my students how to write essay. So respected sir, respected Mughal Wani, yeah, please. Uh, as I have got only the five minutes as I have seen in the Facebook, right? So just, I'm not sharing the Google slide that is found in YouTube. I'm not sharing the slide that is in Google. Just I'm sharing my own experience that I practice in my teaching English daily, how to write, how to teach essay writing, how to how I can make my students to write essay in my daily classroom. So these are just the experience, just my daily activities that I do in my class. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Pikastapa, for the experience and the expertise you shared with my learners. I really appreciate so much and the work this. Uh, I hope to connect with you in the near future. So, respected sir, thank you a lot for connecting me in your wonderful class. All the students are really good and they are getting the good educator like you. That's the, uh, the, that's the greatness your students are getting. I want to connect with your students the same time with my students. Soon, I will manage one class and the grade 12, my own students, grade 12 students connect with your students and my students will show the cultural dance. They will, my students will show cultural dance for your students and they will share their experience. They will tell about their country. And I hope that in the upcoming time, we will have the uh, good collaboration and both the students will enjoy each other culture too. So really I enjoyed, uh, glad to see your students. So, so thank you, please, thank you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Goodbye. Namaste. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye.